Hello everyone, this is the Panda Photographer giving you guys an update on 2021 on my Nonoro or aka Art Slice Carbon Fiber 880 AS80C Carbon Fiber Tripod and I also want to give you guys an update on the Manfrotto Fluid Head how do I keep this preserved and, and in great condition as I am right now facing houselessness as a travel consultant and a photographer so this is my review in San Francisco, how I maintenance and how I maintain the fluid head and the carbon fiber tripod as a homeless photographer at this time. Before we start, please do subscribe, like, and share the content if you like the content. If you guys want to help me financially, when I'm about to tell you, please, there's a PayPal, Cash App, and Remo. It does make a big difference, guys, at this time. But with that said, let's continue. With the carbon fiber tripod on my wagon, it's been difficulties because I've banged up on the side of the buildings because sometimes people do not move out my way and I have to maneuver it and sometimes I scratch it as you can see some of the abuses on the fluid head and you can see it the rubber is kind of coming off because of that reason and the sticker here I'm gonna crazy glue the sticker back on but also on the carbon fiber tripod you can see a little bit of abuse that's human error once again and you can see a little bit of rubber coming off because uh, when I have it on the side of the, the wagon, people, like I said, sometimes people don't move out my way and I have to walk down the street. Sometimes I hit the side of the buildings. So, but it tells me that the tripod is very, very strong, built, built to last for a long time. But the problem I do have with this is that when it gets too cold, this gets stuck. Sometimes it's hard to turn, even with gloves on. It's so hard to turn and it hurts your hand. I wish this was a little bit different in a design or a little bit longer so I can grab it better because I don't get a good grip on it. But I still able to get a nice grip when it's warm and nice like this. So I definitely recommend maybe upgrading the, the bow head, the bow to a bigger bow or 70 mil, I guess. But that's up to you guys. But the man floor, the man photo 502 fluid head it's been really nice this is how i pan my shots very smooth the tension is really nice the fluid drag is very nice too the pinch and tilt is very nice as well but i wanted to give you guys an update why you should go out and buy it uh i believe without the fluid head or the camera this thing is so light so light like nothing like walking around with paper but um yeah i just wanted to give you guys an update a quick update of 2020 on what i use to document and record my videos for my new documentary but uh, i'm showing you guys i'm using the irx 150 to get some b-rolls i'm using a neural rail system as well and the carbon fiber tripod is working really really nicely other than a few nicks scratches abuses that's on human error definitely recommend it as a $200 tripod definitely recommend it $200 fluid head definitely recommend it uh, other than that that's this is my setup so take this video with the grain of salt okay I'm shooting this in 4k 60 frames YouTube is going to compress this right away when I use the app to 1080p 60 frames and if you guys want to financially help me out as I'm houseless at the time in San Francisco, we are trying to make our way back to Wisconsin. We have a place to stay where we can stay and potentially we may have a new city job when we get back. But with that said everyone, there's a PayPal, Cash App, and Memo. But don't forget to subscribe, like, and share. All the links to all my gear is in the description below guys. So check out my past videos about this tripod if you don't see a link. But with that said, everyone, this is Panda, East Sleep Photography, Videography, and Repeat. And I will see you guys in the next video. You guys take care. Be safe. Happy shooting.